great. Uh, so um, the meeting is being recorded uh, so that everybody knows. Um, uh, looks like we have a quorum. I'm gonna make sure that people can see and hear and be heard, sorry. I'm running a little ragged this morning. So um, you can announce your presence uh, when I call on you. That'd be great. George? Here. Farah? Here. And Alex Lefebvre, I am also present. Um, so calling the meeting to order at 9.02, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to this Zoom meeting that can be found on the public meetings calendar on the Town of Amherst website or by dialing in by phone. The public is able to comment during the public comment segment of the posted agenda by raising their virtual hand. Um, this meeting is be re being recorded and will be posted to the Jones Library website. So I see we have three attendees in the audience. Um, the first order of business that we have is a motion to approve the minutes of July 28th, 2022. So I will go ahead and have a motion to that effect. Yes, I move to approve the minutes. How about a second? I second. You guys are great, thanks. <laughs> Any questions, comments, kibitzing, editing? <laughs> nope. Nope, okay. Uh, so if we're ready to vote, George? Yes. And Farah? Yes. And Alex Lefebvre votes yes. Uh, next section is public uh, comment. I see, as I said, three attendees. If anyone would like to join us in the meeting room and make a public comment, we would welcome you. You can signal by raising your virtual hand and we will bring you in. Okay, seeing none, we will move on to the next item. So um, in the packet that you received not very long ago um, is the uh, revised um, CPA agreement. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a motion and then if someone will second it, we can go through. Um, so my motion and Sharon, you correct me if I'm making this wrong, but is to recommend that the board approve the Attached Community Preservation Act grant agreement for the sum of $1 million to be used to rehabilitate a part of the building in order to make it functional for its intended use of preserving the holdings of the library's special collections archives. I'll second it. Thank you. So uh, at our last meeting, um, Nate Malloy was with us and um, uh, he uh, presented the agreement and we had talked about how it was sort of a standard off the shelf agreement. Um, and so uh, in working with the town, um, the agreement has been revised and I don't know if we wanna put up the document and quickly go over it. And then if anyone has any questions, cause I'm guessing you guys did not have a chance to look at it yet. Can you guys see that okay? Or do you need Sharon to make it a little bigger? Yeah, okay. So um, essentially what was changed, um, so in section, I think it's the conditions section, yeah. So the first change is conditions 2A. So we just changed the um, commencement date. That's the date on which the project is supposed to start. Um, and it was moved back to January 1 of 2024. Um, and that is in recognition of the delays uh, that we've had. But it's also in recognition that the actual funds for this project are not likely to be expended until that time. And that's based on Sean Mangano's. So this was Sean, Sean came up with a number, not us. Um, and it, it, was, it was what I was thinking in my head as well. Um, and then we would have three years from January 1 to use the funds, which seems reasonable because that gets us to 2027. So that was that change. Does anybody? Have any questions on that one? No, okay. Um, the next change is 2E. And so um, it basically said that we needed to uh, put a historic preservation restriction in place and it's just changed to acknowledge the fact that we already have one, so. Um, the next section, um, 
is indemnification. So this is, we took the language that's in the HPR um, because obviously our insurance is purchased by town and we're town employees. And so this is the language that everybody agreed to under the HPR. So it just matches that language. Um, the indemnification section, Sharon, I think, oh wait, what's that one? Did I miss one? Sorry, we're up to payments now? We just did indemnification? We did, sorry, thank you. <laughs> um, so it, teeny tiny. Um, so the um, payment section. So uh, basically what we did was we removed um, the language that says that the entire cost of the project in excess of the grant would be paid by the grantee. Hey, Nate, how are you? Good. Look, That's almost through it. We've made a motion. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to go forward or you want me to just keep going? So I can keep going. Yeah, I, I had an update or something that took uh, quite a long time to to install. So I, I didn't. I apologize. I was waiting for a few minutes. I was almost going to join on my phone just because it was taking so long. No, that's okay. Thanks. We're 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 almost uh, almost through. But um, so this section we just took out that language because um, essentially trying to do the accounting around making sure that because town funds will be expended on this project, trying to make sure that town funds don't get paid toward the special collections so that we're only paying those costs just seemed onerous. And so we removed that language to take that sort of onerous piece away. And then the next section, um, return of funds. So the next two sections actually um, were edited essentially to um, remove the clawback section. So if for some reason, the contract is terminated, any funds that have been expended will be expended, any funds that haven't been expended would be returned. Um, and so, yeah, so that's it. So those are the changes. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions, comments, thoughts of me or of Nate, which I'm very appreciative of uh, Nate and Sean taking time uh, to, to meet with me to go over these and, and get it turned around so quickly so that we could look at it today. Okay, so if people don't have any questions, go far, yes, please. Um, just one quick question, just based on our meeting yesterday, uh, the trustees meeting, if there is a pause or any changes in any of the plans, how, how does that affect this grant? I mean, the, the grant as it is, is, uh, and Nate, you can speak to this, the grant is subject to us moving forward with the project. So if we didn't move forward with the project, the grant goes away, this, this, would, this would, wouldn't matter anymore. And if we put a pause on it, I don't know what the ramifications of that are gonna be, but in theory, even if it were a two month pause, I don't, I feel like the January one date we built in was a pretty safe date. So I, I think, we tried to allow some, cause you could start before it was a, yeah. So I, I mean, Nate, you have any? Yeah, I mean, I, I think as long as there's communication and, you know, I think a, a few month delay is not um, gonna affect this. You know, if it were a few years, then maybe, but a few months to me is not a big deal. Um, so, you know, I think we say it can be extended, right? So we have that January 20, January 1st, 2024, unless extended by the town. So you know, oftentimes um, grantees that receive CPA funds, you know, things may not happen right away if they're trying to get matching funds for grants or other programs. So, um, you know, I think that's fine. Thank you. Just, just wanting to make sure. Oh, no, that's, you know, it's a good question. Thanks. Any other questions, comments? Okay. Uh, so then, uh, with respect to the motion to recommend that we approve this uh, and send it up to the board, George? Uh, yes. Sarah? Yes. And Alex is a yes. So thank you again, Nate. Really, really appreciate everything sure. that you did and working with us yet again. So <laughs> thank you so much sure. for your time. Thanks, everyone. Um, the next item on our agenda is the North Amherst Library project update. You know, and I'm going to let George take this because uh, this has really been his his project from the get go, and he's done amazing things along with Petra. It's all yours, George. Yay! Um, 
So we do have a tentative opening date, which will be the 29th, which is Monday, uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances, but I don't think there will be. Uh, the signage is up, so everybody now knows that it is the library. Um, we removed three vanfuls of books that we did not have space for uh, and we are going to be processing them here at the Jones. We're using the Goodwin room right now because we're meeting virtually. It's literally the only space we had that, um, that we could do it. But rather than taking the time to try to process them there, we're doing it offsite, uh, which now you can actually see how much space there is over there. And it's wonderful. Uh, the book drop is supposed to get installed today. Uh, and I'm going around and getting spare keys made for certain things, but it's all looking really good. Uh, the staff over there are very excited to open up and finally get to greet the public and let them see that space. And I was there this morning and it does. It, it looks really wonderful to see it without boxes and boxes and boxes of books. So uh, looking forward to it. Great. Well, immense gratitude to you and to the staff. I know that this has been a monumental job and without with with many hurdles along the way so <laughs> i don't want to see any more boxes of books <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i need to get it i i saw it in box phase so i'll have to go over uh next week and and see so thanks again um Okay, well, I think that's that's about all we have on our agenda. Um, the other thing is we have on the agenda that our next meeting is scheduled for, I think it was September 20th at 9 a.m. And that time does not work for me. So I don't know if everybody else can find a time after say four o'clock, <laughs> that would work. That would be great. Either the same day, at, oh no, we can't because we've got, um, Dale DC meetings, right? Yeah, so we can't do them on. Do you want to switch them over to Thursdays at 4 p.m.? I'm going to let Farah take the lead on what works best for her. Um, that should work. Uh, for the next few months. Yeah, and it may it may only be for uh, a month or two. It might depending on how my schedule switches, but at least for the next two months. <laughs> so we're saying Thursday, the 22nd, is that the 22nd, 4 p.m.? Yeah. Okay. okay, four o'clock. Yeah, I can make that work too. Thank you, George. <laughs> and then you wanna plug in October 27th? And then we'll see after that um, what, and then we might be, if it would say, I would hold this Tuesday nine o'clock time after that, because if, if depends on if the schedule shifts, I'm happy to go back to these nine o'clock meetings. Okay. Are you going to be in person, Alex, for a while, you think? I don't know. We'll talk, we'll talk offline. <laughs> as far as I know. Um, great. So um, any topics? I think George, you don't have anything to share about HVAC systems or roof issues? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Well, we just, we've been dealing with controls issues um, pretty much steadily. It's it's a situation where we've had to reset the, the system every morning when we come in because it's not coming on on its own. Um, but we've got it down to a science and it only takes us a few minutes and we are having a part shipped in to replace the part that is malfunctioning, uh, but it takes time because nobody stocks the part we are looking for. Um, so we're making it work for now. And I'll be glad when changeover happens and we go back to heating because heating just seems to be so much less problematic. Yeah. So could I ask Sharon, we used to have on our regular agendas sort of a, an update on building and grounds and that seems to have fallen off the agendas and I... <laughs> Apparently we need to bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would appreciate us moving back toward that just so you know we can keep the board informed of the building and, and where we are and what's limping along and 
you know, George, you know, along those same lines, George, um, if you could only choose one thing to fix, regardless of price, what would it be? Regardless of price? Yeah. The entire HVAC system, yeah. controls and equipment. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's number one. There's so many others that are almost equally as important, but that's that's the big one because the that is the thing that has kept us from opening and yeah. kept us from protecting the collection. Okay. Yeah, and it's, I mean, we'll see how things go in the next couple of weeks, week, two weeks, but um, I just just know in the back of your mind that I'm very much thinking about the status of the building. And I think, uh, you know, the document we put together, you put together, we, ha, you, <laughs> George, put together for um, Western and Builders with sort of like the big ticket items. I don't know whether new things have been added to that or, or where we are, but um, I just, I just want to be prepared um, for having to quickly put a request into JCPC or something if this doesn't move forward. I really want Honestly, to it's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, because if we don't hit the deadline, which I think will be early winter, could be in December, then we're gonna have to wait a whole nother year to get JCPC money. And um, yeah, what I, mean, I what I will say is, you know, the, the list itself uh may not have any changes but the costs definitely need to be revisited because as we've seen costs on everything has escalated and that isn't limited to new construction that's everything so the the costs on that western builders quote have to be adjusted you know but it makes me sick to think that we might have to spend another nine thousand dollars to get that cost estimate updated I know. So, um, so I guess um, I think I think the first time you put that list together, I don't know whether you prioritize. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I guess I would just check the list again, make sure the prior the list of prioritization is what it is, and I mean we can certainly use you know Western. I mean the biggest thing that people have to understand is that the the Western Builders broke out for you, Farah, because you weren't here. So Western Builders broke out different parts, but it wasn't really broken out. It was the assumption that all the work would be done at once. And then here's what each element costs. But if we were to actually separate it out, you had to add back sort of these key costs that are on every project. So which I'm assuming is what Kuhn Riddle did when Kuhn Riddle actually broke it apart. But we can't exactly just take Western Builders numbers and it's a little more complicated than that. Um, uh, the OPM did something similar for last night's presentation, but it wasn't, you know, it was just adding on a percentage to what was put there. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm thinking also too, I mean, our, our number one priority, you know, as I hear it from George is the HVAC system. But again, there's my recollection is that once you've got the HVAC system opened up, doing other elements are much more cost efficient. Um, so if we're not doing those, you know, that adds on additional cost to do them later on. And so I just, I guess I want to be, I want to be prepared, right? Because we can't wait another year, two years, three years, the systems won't make it that long. So we've just got to be prepared for the worst. Hope for the best. So, okay. I know you have nothing else to do, George. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that the North Amherst library is, is set. Yeah, now's a good time. Now's a good time to go on vacation? No. Uh, no. <laughs> I should have done it when I had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So if nothing else, um, we'll add back the building maintenance reports um, to our list of agenda items. And then um, we'll start working on some numbers to present to JCPC uh, as a backstop in the event 
that's where things go. Great. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good afternoon. And I will see the two of you this evening. <laughs> Bye. Bye.